Jeffrey Powers, GeekAzine.com. We're here at the Ban in a Box booth. We're going to learn about the 2019 software, 64-bit. You guys are going to be excited about it. I know I am. We're going to talk about that next on Geekazine. Okay. We got Tobin here from Ben in a Box Software. How's it going, Tobin? Uh, it's going good. Yeah, we're looking forward to the show. So, for those of you who don't, for the people that don't know what Ben in a Box is, why don't you tell them? Sure. Okay, so it's an auto accompaniment program. So the basic idea is you can enter any chord progression in any key into Ban in a Box. So whether it's a popular song or your own song, if you're songwriting, you enter the chord progression, you pick a style, and we literally have thousands of styles to choose from in all genres, jazz, rock, pop, modern, uh, funk, all that kind of stuff. And, and you so have, pick a style. You have MIDI and you have actual musicians. Playing. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, once you pick a style, then you just press play and it generates the backing tracks. And as you say, it's uh, we do have MIDI, but we also, the, the main thing is we have real tracks, which are real instruments played by real musicians. So you're actually getting like real performances and the, the, it sounds re real because it is real, Yeah, basically. So 2019 software is looking pretty sweet. Why don't you tell us what, you, uh, what you've updated? Sure, so the main thing, uh, that, that the main request that we've had for a long time is to have a 64-bit version of the program and we now have that, awesome. so that's a big thing. And then in addition to that, we also now have a 64-bit plugin as well, a VST3 plugin. Uh, and how the plugin works is it, it's uh, similar to the main Band in the Box interface, but you just use it right in your favorite DAW, so Pro Tools or Reaper or uh, Cubase or Cakewalk or any of that kind of stuff. So you just open it as a plugin in there, you type in the chords in there, you pick a style the same as you did you do in Band in a Box, and then you drag the tracks into the DAW right from within the, the whole program. So that's something that uh, a lot of people are quite excited about. One thing a lot of people have been asking about, my, my people have been asking about, because there are a lot of uh, podcasters, video content creators and stuff like that, um, is how... How licensable is this? Is no, they don't have to pay a license fee to us or the artists uh, or anything. You can use all of this stuff uh, because it's not its not actual. It, the, the artists that we record, we work with them to create these tracks, but it is just, it is Band in a Box. And when you when you purchase Band in a Box, you, uh, you are then allowed to use anything you create in Band in a Box. As long as it's your own progression, um, uh, you can use it in any way. Like, as you say, like in... TV, like a commercial or something like that, okay. you can use that. You can use it for performing live, absolutely. So you don't have to worry about royalties or anything like that. Now, I'm assuming you've got new tracks in the 2019, correct? Yes, we have 202 new real tracks. Uh, and so that means like, you know, one instrument is, is a real track. So one instrument playing a particular group is a real track. So we have uh, some, some great new funk style. So you have a, a guitar, a funk guitar playing a cool single note uh, funk line. That's one real track. You have a baritone guitar doing a similar thing and they work together. Okay. That's the second one. So we have 202 of those. Plus you can create your own real tracks, right? Yeah, uh, yes, you can create your own real tracks, and those are, they're called user tracks in Band in a Box, just to distinguish them, but you can create your own, you can even sell them, you can create your own and sell them as a third party uh, product, so, and we encourage that for sure. Yeah, I think that's what, 20, 26, 2700 real tracks in all? That sounds about right. I don't have the number off the tip, tip of my tongue, but yeah, there's a lot of content in there. Okay. And so some of the some of the exciting things that we've added, we added styles uh, by these by some some of these fantastic funk artists in New York. Um, several members of the band Snarky Puppy, which is a big that's that's they're sort of the up and coming kind of uh, exciting kind of kind of modern jazz, modern funk kind of thing. Okay. So we've got several musicians from that band have have worked with us to make these real tracks as well, and uh, yeah, and yeah, lots of lots of great stuff. Awesome. So when is uh, when is 2019 due out? Oh, it's already out for Windows. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, and later this year we'll be we'll be doing the Mac version uh, as well. Uh, but but right now the yeah the Windows version is already ready, so you can you can buy it. Then and when you install the program, it installs the plugin as well. So so you should just be able to then open up your DAW and use the plugin just just like that right from within the DAW. That's so. awesome. Okay, so right now we have this project in Reaper and let's just say that uh, this is something that you've actually recorded so like so an acoustic guitar you've just strummed an acoustic guitar part you've recorded a vocal track 
Okay. So you've created this, and now you want to add some tracks to it. Okay. So, uh, so you can use the plugin. So I've actually got the, a plugin already, go, uh, ready to go here. So this is the plugin itself here, and um, you can see. All you do is the same as in Band in a Box. You type in the chords here, which I've already done, and then you pick a style, which I've already picked a style, and you press generate. And it takes a couple minutes to then generate the parts, but they are ready here now. So uh, you can then just drag them in. So this is the, the with the plugin. You then just go drag this and bring them into here. Put them on separate tracks, and now you've got all of these tracks in the project itself. Oops, sorry, I to go like that. So I'll mute that sort of scratch guitar, but I'll, but I'll leave the vocals. And now we have Band in a Box tracks backing up that uh, that vocal performance. That is definitely a game changer right there. Now this, this of course, is stuff that you could do already in Band in a Box. But it just kind of, it, it makes your workflow way quicker because you could enter these chords in Band in a Box before and drag them from Band in a Box into a DAW like this. But for most people, having that workflow that they can just bring, open it up right in the DAW, that is, as you say, kind of a game changer for sure. So, and again, with, uh, in Band in a Box, the, the big, uh, the big thing is the 64-bit version of the program. So we're running the 64-bit version right here. So uh, you can use 64-bit plugins uh, easily with it. It also does come with a 32-bit version as well. So if you're running 32-bit Windows, uh, you can still you can of course, still right? do that. So. Yeah. All right. So pricing, of course, you have a multi-tiered pricing depending on how much you uh, purchase from there. But what does it start at? It starts at $129 for the basic and. When I say basic, the program itself is exactly the same no matter which versions you have. Yeah. Uh, it's just the amount of content basically changes for the different tiers. But even the, even the, the basic $129 version still comes with a ton of real tracks. So, you know, all of the styles that you're going to want right away, lots of jazz styles, lots of jazz swing, bossa, that kind of stuff, lots of pop styles, lots of bluegrass styles, country styles, all that kind of stuff. Okay, you and is there an upgrade stuff. price? For uh, there is an upgrade price. I don't, <laughs> I don't have that's that okay, at my, okay. on, on, yeah, at the same time. They, they know that they can uh, yeah. upgrade it at a good price. Yeah. Where do people go for more information? Uh, you can go to, to pgmusic.com or bandinabox.com, all one, one word, and that's, uh, yeah. And that is Ben in the Box software over at uh, NAM 2019. Jeffrey Powers from Kikazine, youtube.com forward slash Kikazine. Of course, you can like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification for the next video. And we've got a lot of great stuff at NAM, so check it out. Come on back, and of course, check out the CES video and everything from Geekazine. Until next time, you guys, geek out.